Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. And in this video, we will see how we can use checkboxes with our Android application. So generally we use checkboxes whenever we want to choose uh, a list of items. For example, uh, you are making a, a grocery shop app. You can uh, use checkboxes to select the items, right? Or for example, uh, you want to uh, give the option to the user uh, to select his favorite animals or favorite uh, dishes or favorite, um, you know, favorite th things, right? So basically, whenever we want to select uh, multiple items, we use checkboxes. Now to add checkboxes, as you can see, I can uh, add checkboxes by going to my palette and in the widget section, I have this checkbox um, uh, widget, which I can drag and drop to my Android activity. I'm also going to take a button so that on the basis of button click event, I can decide uh, which checkboxes are checked and on the basis of checked uh, option or checked checked check boxes i can take some action now i will uh, choose all these uh, or, or i will select all these check boxes and i'm going to change the properties of these check boxes in the properties i'm going to go to layout underscore width and i'm going to set it to fill parent so that this width is uh, filled in the you know in the width right now i'm going to change the name of these um, checkboxes for example we want to uh, create a list of animals so that user can choose his favorite animals for example a dog and uh, in here you will see uh, this option checked so in here if you uh, choose this option checked you can see whenever you run the application, uh, it will be checked by default. Otherwise, when you uncheck this option, your, uh, you know, whenever you uh, start your activity, this checkbox will be unchecked. So this is the default condition you want to check to your checkbox. Okay. The name to the checkbox we can give according to the name, for example, checkbox dog. Now we will uh, go to the code part of our uh, activity. So I will go to my main activity Java file. And in here, we are going to declare uh, these variables. So we are going to declare three checkbox variable and one button variable. Okay, so now our variables are declared. Now we are going to uh, create a method. This will be the public method and it's not going to return anything. And we are going to name our method as for example, add listener on button, okay. And then it's not going to take any argument and we will create or prepare the body of our function in these curly braces. Now inside here, we are going to cast our checkboxes as button and we are going to cast them by ID. So for example, for the checkbox one, we are going to cast it to the dog checkbox.
now once we have casted all our uh, widgets now we are going to um, add the listener so we are going to take our button variable and we will set the listener to it set on click listener and in here in the arguments just press enter and we are going to create a new listener so new on click listener on click listener and this takes three arguments right on click yeah right so we will create a buffer string buffer so in here we are going to create a string buffer result is equal to new string buffer and then let me reformat otherwise it will go out of the screen so select all cut and paste once again and now we are going to add a toast uh, and in this result we are going to append the checked item first so first of all this result take this result variable so in here result dot append and we can append any string to it so in the double quotes you can just write dog and if it's checked we will say it's checked otherwise we will say it's not checked so append this string dogs dot append and in here we are going to append if the checkbox is checked or not right so we will ch take the first checkbox which is for dog field dot is checked is checked okay and this will give you the binary option true or false or one or zero if it's checked it's going to give you true uh, or if it's uh, unchecked it's going to give you false right and we are going to just close this in a same way for uh, cat and cow we will do the same and now we can display this uh, result to the toast so we can just write toast dot make text make text and in here we are going to select our activity which is our main activity here or the class name dot this then we will choose uh, the text we want to display so the text we want to display is this result variable so just copy and paste result dot to string okay because it's a buffer so we need to convert it to string dot now once we have uh, created this method we just need to call it in our create on create method which is this one right so just go below this set content view and just paste your method name which is this one and now we are going to run our application and now our application is running so for example uh, we check checkbox 1 and checkbox 2 and press this select button the answer is dog is equal to true and cat is equal to true you can see dog true cat true and cow false so uh, if you want to add the line ending you can just add this line ending here backslash n and in here also backslash n right and once again run the program and now once we select all the options it says dog true cat true and cow true and if we unselect some option 
now only dog is true cat is false and cow is false okay so in this way you can uh, choose your selection on the basis of is select method here right now let's create a method on which we will allow the user to take some action on this uh, checkbox click itself okay so for example uh, once selector uses or user you selects this uh, dog checkbox uh, we are going to display some message that you selected dog without any button click event so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, declare one more method which will be public now once again we are going to cast our checkbox uh, one variable because we want to take action on checkbox one so i will copy the code from here and then we want to you know uh, take this uh, checkbox one and then we will set on click listeners dot set on click listener and in the argument just click enter new on click listener and in here you just need to uh, write if the checkbox is checked so we will just check the condition if and we will take our variable from view which is v so just take it here v and then we will enclose it in a bracket also so just add one more bracket here and then dot is checked and if uh, the checkbox is checked we are going to perform some action so we will display toast dot make text and in here the class name once again dot this comma if it's uh, checked we are going to display some message here so let's uh, display a message for example we will display dog is selected okay and then the third argument is the same toast dot length long and then we will just show this dot show okay and i will add it in here and now we are going to run it okay so that it will listen on this uh, dog checkbox this one so you see whenever I check the uh, dog checkbox I will check it and it shows dog is selected and when I uncheck it once again check it dog is selected but when I check cat checkbox it doesn't show any message because I haven't added any uh, you know uh, listener to the, these checkboxes I have added listener to the dog checkbox only so whenever I check it it shows dog is selected but you can add the same kind of listener to these checkboxes also so in this way you can use checkboxes in your Android app I hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and